we're playing on Mastodor right now. People are going to think, and you walked in, and you think you got Max Eat or something. We have five cards of field, three spells. Dude, we have Grave Effects. So we didn't even Vicious Astrolod yet. This combo is going to change Yu Gi Oh forever. Now, since Duelist Nexus cards are released, it's now legal in the TCG. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If it's your first time here, make sure to smash the subscribe button. If it's your second time here, also smash the subscribe button. And if it's whatever time you're here, Make sure to go check out TripGaming.com because let me tell you something. After you see these combos, you are... Whatever deck you're playing right now, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. This is going to change the whole meta. The new cards that come on Duelist Nexus is absolutely ridiculous. Especially, there's We're using a bunch of the new ones now. Absolutely insane how strong and powerful this set is. Why don't we let the combo do the talking? And if this combo doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Also, starting just last week, we now have channel members... So if you want to sign up for very cool perks, make sure to go do so down below. And let's go. Let's get straight into this video. This combo is going to blow your mind. It is now officially legal. Well, at least in a week. Let's get straight into it. Tuning. Oh my God. Let me tell you guys right now. Revolution Synchron is probably the greatest tuner I ever read in my life. All right. So we're going to start with Fenrir. Fenrir's going to have Sekou Kastira. Now, we're, we're going to enchant just after that. We're going to enchant just right. Okay, right. All right, now we're faced with a choice. What are we tuning? Are we going to tuning for Revolution Synchron? Or are we going to tuning for Assault Synchron? That's essentially what we have to decide. So in this deck, the best level to make, level 9 and level 7. Now you're probably thinking, all right, Trip, what are you going to make with Synchro 7, Crocosaur? What are you going to make, Shen Shen? No, we're not making Shen Shen. Shen Shen's for Bozos. We're going to make the greatest Synchro 9 in Yu-Gi-Oh! history that has ever been released, that no one knows, that no one's even playing, that is now enabled... Not just from Assault Synchron, but mainly Revolution Synchron. But here we're using uh, Assault Synchron. First, let's set up the Griffin to make sure our play resolves. When you read this card, you're going to... What the heck? I read it before. I knew what it did. But once I actually put it in practice, I recognize what it did. We're going to need to make sure our scales aren't locked, by the way. Because hint, hint, there might be pendulums involved. All right. Special Griffin. Synchro for the greatest card ever made. That's a power tool Braver Dragon. Oh, my God. You can make this with any Biss deal and Revolution Synchron from your hand. Or you could do it with this. You could chain block with Druid or Sornier. And here you go Fenrir Assault Synchron. So you could make this by basically any single way. Fenrir and anything. You can make it with Griffin and Assault Synchron. You can make this any way you want. And what's this card do? Plays around Droll, by the way. All right. If this card is special summon, you can equip up to three equipped spells from your deck to this card. What the? F Plus three? Equip three? It's not even done yet. Then it says during the main phase, Kuka Fight, you can send one of those equipped spells uh, that's scripted this card, negate a monsters on the field, or change his battle position. It, like, it gets better? This card's broken. And with Revolution Synchron, it's ridiculous. So here's what it does. We're going to equip these three. Well, you can't equip that one. But thanks to another equip spell, we basically are equipping that one too. We're going to send original Bamboo Sword. Now, why these three equip spells, you ask? Why these three equip spells? Quite simple. The Bamboo Sword cards used to suck donkey <laughs> That's right. I agree. But now they don't. Now they have the biggest one instead. Why? Because they're now officially pot of greeds. Every one of them. They're great to draw. Because Isolde gets you. Isolde. What am I? Isolde. That's right. But you're not playing Infernoble. Brick. All these all these equip spells, they're not bricks. You're not playing Phoenix Blade nonsense. You're only playing equip spells that actually help you. And drawing Bamboo Sword is remarkable. It's a plot. You, you, you could get it to the graveyard anytime you want to get the other Bamboo Sword. And they all do that. That's the premise of the deck. You don't play the shit bamboo swords. And what this is going to do now is going to draw six cards, essentially. Just from one Synchro 9. One Synchro 9 is going to draw six cards. This combo is absurd. We're going to use Durendo here. Now, this is a personal preference. A personal preference of mine is to run Pendulums. <laughs> That's a personal preference. Don't worry. I'm only playing one Ignis and one Ignite. Because Durendo, this combo will always search, will always go into Power Tool or Power Tool Braver Dragon. And then once you get the Power Tool Dragon, uh, the rest is history. Because Power Tool Dragon will get you Power Tool Braver. And Power Tool Dragon can get you access to any of these or the Ignis. So what we're going to do now... Also, you can go into the Soul Day at any time. Send Renaud. Renaud add Durendo. Durendo get Ignis. You can Pen Summon anytime you want in this deck. Which is just a personal preference. You don't need to play the Pendulums in this if you don't want to. You can play more defensive cards if you like. But we're just already playing a decent amount. Uh, then what we're going to do here is we're going to use the effect of Original Bamboo Sword... To get the other bamboo sword into the deck. And then we're going to use the secret effect of Power Tool Braver. Which is ridiculous. It says it's been, it was made for bamboo sword. It says send uh, equip salt to the grave. Change a battle position monster. Whatever. If you change it to attack position. Bamboo sword triggers. And you get ba golden bamboo sword. Then you use golden bamboo sword to draw two. Now you get, as you see we're playing a shit ton of defensive cards. But don't worry. 
We're also playing Caillou to Waterfront. That's where this gets become. That's where this becomes just absolutely ridiculous. So then we're gonna. Yes, that's right. We're playing Scareclaw too. It's a quite the pile. But all the cards work well together. And the beauty of the deck, and the reason why it synergizes so well together, is that everything you make can go into a soul day. Everything. Because we play the Flame Swordsman. The Link 2 Flame Swordsman. Shout out Joey. I always love Joey. Now, we're able to go into a soul day, which is one warrior. You take any two links, any two monsters you have into a generic Link 2 warrior, and then any other warrior into the soul day. So that's what glue is the glue together. One is soul day also gets you there as well. One is soul day gets all this combo. Because the soul day gets you the ignite. You go to Rendell, add ignite, uh, add special Renault, Renault, add Durendal, Durendal, add Ignis. You get Pen Summon. Uh, it's crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the plays are endless. So here we're going to go right cart. We're going to get a rival. We're going to draw one. Now I just have so many plays. We play Therions are crazy in this deck. It's unreal because the deck also, the deck goes, it's Ancient Fairy Turbo. So you go into Ancient Fairy and Synchro Set. Thanks to the tuning, the Salt Synchron, the Revolution Synchron. Thanks to Revolution Synchron mainly. You go into Ancient Fairy a lot, and because you play 35,000 field spells, it's important to play Therions, and guess what? All the tunings are all, they're, all the Synchrons are machines. It's crazy. All the power tools are machines. And every other deck, every other card in the deck, if it's not a machine, it's a warrior. So the two Therions you play are, are crazy good. Right, we're going to go Calarium to search Vices. Vices popped Lightheart. I could Baron, but I'll Baron later. I'm already protected through Nibiru. Then I'm going to Soul Day. That's going to get Ignite Paladin. We're going to do a really cool play here. We're going to is Soul Day Special Summon Renode. Uh, send any I play one living boss, so you don't need to. I just like it. I actually think it's a great card. Uh, you send a Renaud to add back Curse Bamboo Sword. Bamboo Sword is not once per turn. What the heck? This card is not once per turn. Because it's not once per turn, you'll be able to send it to the grave easily to Pot of Greed again. All thanks to this one Synchro 9. Now, I forgot a special Renaud. Oh, there we go. Renaud is going to add back Curse Bamboo Sword. We're going to activate a field spell now for no reason. And this field spell, you get to the graveyard at any time you want. The Curse Bamboo Sword. Anytime you want to get to the graveyard, you just activate it on something and link summon. It triggers. And then you add the other bamboo sword to draw two again. You just draw two forever. It's, it's a never ending loop. Uh, it's a very cool play out there of Renaud. And the fact this is not once per turn is absurd. Uh, we're going to now scale. We don't need to pen summon because like well, our field's full. Where are we going to pen summon? On our opponent's zones? What the heck? Our board's literally full. We're going to use that to get Therion Bull. I think Therion Bull is very, uh, a very powerful card. You don't need to get Phoenix Gear Freed here at all. I don't even think I play that card. I don't need to. Therion Bull just makes so Therion Regulus is a double negate, essentially. And it's a free extender. And we mainly want to trigger the Majesty Pegasus. Now, you're playing Field Spell Turbo. Coyote Waterfront. You're playing Ancient Fairy Turbo. You side into Secret Village post side deck. Like, to stop Dark Ruler no more. So, the deck's unbreakable. And all these cards are great to draw. Because they just do... Uh, th like, if you just draw them, you just utilize them anyways. So we're going to get Waterfront here. We're going to send the Bamboo Sword to the Graveyard to add the Bamboo Sword to draw another two. Pot of Greed. I'm just going to stop here for a bit. We literally have nine cards in hand. If we're playing on Master Duel right now. People are going to think, and you walked in, and you think you got Max Eat or something. We have five cards of field, three spells. Dude, we have Grave Effects. We didn't even Vicious Astrolod yet. This deck's ridiculous. This deck is insane. Seriously, this deck is insane. It's one of my greatest creations yet. We're going to Waterfront. We're then going to go into a Saryuja for four just to clear our hand and get rid of some cards we don't really need. Uh, we don't need any of those later. We could have kept the birth to special back to Fenrir, but I thought I was going to special the unicorn. I don't end up specialing the unicorn. We're going to say you just special the Gamma Seal. We're going to go tuning it. We play one Jet Synchron because being a level one is very good. Uh, in this whole combo, guess what? We didn't normal summon yet. Insane. Waterfront, add Kaiju for next turn. We're going to go into Baron here. Uh, we literally need to synchro off our Griffin and Token because they take up too much space, bro. I uh, keep the Draco back for some reason. I don't know yet. Uh, I Who knows? Uh, I'm just gonna do cross sheep first. Uh, I'm gonna then make that way my Sayuja has four. I'm gonna normal jet and make Sayuja. Uh, DS Draco back should be in grave. I don't know why it's there. I'm gonna make Vicious Astrola, cross sheep special jet. We can literally keep playing here. I'm gonna go into uh, Apollosa, special the Regulus with Therion Bull underneath. Now, if I wanted to, instead of the Unicorn, I could add a Birth. So I could activate Birth and special the Fenrir. And that's the. This shit's insane. This deck is absolutely ridiculous. Literally a Dark Ruler as well if you're going second. You play three Dark Ruler, three Talents. Look, we play like a big-ass deck and we end on 21 cards. It's insane. Graveyard full with follow-up. Seriously ridiculous deck. And now post-side deck, because I know what someone's going to say. Oh, yeah, but I'm just going to Dark Ruler you, bro. Yeah, buddy. Post-side deck, you have Secret Village. And on top of that, you have a Counter Trap. So you guys don't want to Calarium there. This deck is basically Ancient Fairy Turbo and Majesty Pegasus Turbo to search any field spell you want. So you capitalize on the most broken field spells in the game. And because of Synchro, that Synchro 9 is so crazy. And it all comes together because Revolution Synchron and Assault Synchron. They allow you to make anything. 
So having access to Revolution Synchron and Assault Synchron uh, to make all these broken cards possible just makes it so ridiculous. And the fact that you get a Soul Day with just basically any two monsters you want, because the whole deck is Warriors, but on top, Warriors are Machines. On top of that, you have a generic link too that's Warrior that makes it all possible. This this deck's crazy. If I go to Nats right now, like if Nats just happened tomorrow, I'm taking this deck. Now, the deck list. This is the deck list. Yes, we're playing 60 cards. Why? Because I felt like it. There's no reason not to. The days of 40 are over. You just play more defensive cards. Now, you play three Dark Ruler, three Talents. You play more non-engine. At first glance, you play these three, six, and two Kaiju. So that's eight. But you also play three Fenrir. That's 11. You play three Right Soth. That's 14. Terraforming Serotation gets the Right Soth. That's 16. Now, you can also get Waterfront. Waterfront, search a Kaiju. And then play another Field Spell over it. So you really play 17 defensive cards. And all these cards force interruptions. The synchro plays are absurd. I can't stress enough how broken they are. They're seriously insane. These synchro cards are going to have some place in all my decks moving forward. The fact that you summon them from hand is crazy. And this is the deck. I'm not getting too much into it. Just play it card for card. Don't ask questions. Just ask why it's so good. That's the one question you're allowed to ask. Post side, you play 16, 17 defensive cards. And you sign into 13 more. So post side, you're playing 30 defensive cards, 30 blowouts, like absolute blowouts. And you side in to room heart and reframing. I decided last second to remove secret village. Because instead of secret village, I basically search reframing with room heart. Getting you get Calarium with any of your ways to field spells, whether it be Ancient Fairy Dragon, which you get to easily, or if it's Majesty uh Pegasus, and you actually never normal summon in this deck ever. So if you ever hard draw these, you just normal summon them and make a soul day. This is the link to what I was mentioning. Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Two monsters with different names, which is the whole deck. On top of that, you can use a non-effect, like Rite of Emissaire, like a token. Uh, so basically, you get uh, a soul day anytime you want because you have a generic warrior in here. That's the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure as heck enjoyed it. I love this deck. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. Check out the playmats down below on TriffGaming.com. And comment if you guys want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.